Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about business and consumer loans. These are the terminologies that we need to define first to be able to understand our lesson. Business loan is a money lent specifically for a business purpose. It may be used to start a business or to have a business expansion. Consumer loan is a money lent to an individual for personal or family purpose. Collateral are assets used to secure the loan. It may be real estate or other investments. Term of the loan is the time to pay the entire loan. The following are some examples of business loan and consumer loan. Identify whether the following is a consumer or business loan. Mr. Agustin plans to have a barber shop. He wants to borrow some money from the bank in order for him to pay the equipment and furniture for the barber shop. This one is an example of business loan because Mr. Agustin plans to have a barber shop which will be his business. For the second one, Mr. and Mrs. Craig wants to borrow money from the bank to finance the college of their son. Since the money will be used for the education of their son, then this is an example of a consumer loan. For the third one, Mr. Alonzo wants to have some improvements on their 10-year-old house. He wants to build a new room for her 13-year-old daughter. He will borrow some money from the bank to finance this plan. So since the money will be used to improve their house, then this is an example of a consumer loan. For the last one, Roan has a computer shop. She owns six computers. He decided to borrow some money from the bank to buy 10 more computers. Since the money will be used to expand the computer shop of Roan, this is an example of business loan. These are other terminologies that we need to learn for us to be able to learn or understand our lesson. Amortization method is a method of paying a loan, it might be principal and interest, on installment basis, usually of equal amounts at regular intervals. Mortgage is a loan secured by a collateral that the borrower is obliged to pay at specified terms. Chattel mortgage is a mortgage on a movable property. Collateral are assets used to secure the loan. It may be a real estate or other investments. Outstanding balance is any remaining debt at a specified time. Now, let us solve some problems involving business and consumer loan. Mr. Garcia borrowed 1 million pesos for the expansion of his business. The effective rate of interest is 7%. The loan is to be repaid in full after one year. How much is to be paid after one year? According to the problem, we have the following given. P or the principal is equal to 1 million pesos. J or the interest rate is equal to 7% or 0.07 in decimal. Since the loan will be repaid in full after one year, then N is equal to 1. What we need to find is the future value. Remember that F is equal to P times 1 plus J quantity raised to N. So by substitution, we will have 1 million times 1 plus 0 0.07. Keying this on our calculator, we will have the answer 1,070,000. Therefore, the amount to be paid by Mr. Garcia after one year is 1,070,000 pesos. Let us have another example. A person borrowed 1,200,000 pesos for the purchase of a car. If his monthly payment is 31,000 pesos on a 5-year mortgage, find the total amount of interest. According to the problem, we have the following given. The principal is equal to 1,200,000 and the monthly payment is equal to 31,000. 
what we need to find is the total amount of the interest. The total amount paid is given by 31,000 multiplied by 12 months times 5 years because according to the problem, the person will be paying 31,000 pesos monthly within 5 years. Therefore, the total amount to be paid is equal to 1,860,000 pesos. Thus, the total interest is the difference between the total amount paid and the amount of the mortgage. Therefore, the total interest is equal to 1,860,000 minus 1,220,000 and it will be equal to 660,000. Therefore, the total interest of the mortgage is 660,000 pesos. Another example, if a house is sold for 3 million pesos and the bank requires 20% down payment, find the amount of the mortgage. Remember that the down payment is equal to down payment rate times the cash price. So that will be equal to 0 0.20 times 3 million and that will be equal to 600,000. The amount of the loan is equal to the cash price minus the down payment. Therefore, the amount of the loan will be equal to 3 million minus 600,000. And that will be equal to 2,400,000. Therefore, the amount of the mortgage is 2,400,000 pesos. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about propositions. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next video.